Hey. Yeah. And I'm fine. I guess I've just been thinking. Yeah. You know, a lot's changed since the rumbling, so... I guess I'm just trying to find my place in this new world. This new, very small, sad world. Well, I guess it's not that sad. There is peace, I guess, but we lost a lot of people. We've lost a lot of the world because of Aaron. And I guess I'm just trying to figure out where I fit in. I was always told where I fit in growing up. My father was insistent on me taking over one of the Titans. So that's what I did. I fought hard and I worked my way up. And I was able to become the female Titan. And now who am I? That was my whole identity. Coming over to Paradis, I even had Rhino and Beardol to tell me what to do. Despite questioning what they wanted me to do, I still did it. Everything I did was for Marley and to earn my father's respect. And now that all of that's gone, I guess I don't know what to do. Who am I if not the female Titan? Not a Marleyan soldier? Even when I first came over here, I was completely focused on the mission. I had no interest in making friends and pretending like this was a new normal. Ryan and Bertolt were the only ones I could ever confide in, but it's not like I did. Despite being able to hold my own, I still did what I was told. Even though I was pretty manipulated. You're the only one that hasn't made me feel that way. <laughs> I feel completely safe and at peace in your presence. And I guess I never really knew what that felt like. So, thanks, I guess. If I hadn't met you after all this happened, I think I would feel a lot more lost.
Everyone in my life has always wanted something from me. And you're the first person that just wants me for me. Even just as we were about to leave to come to Parody for the first time, my father expressed his regret. But it was too late. I had a mission and I was gonna fulfill that. I was already the female titan at that point, so what else was I going to do? And even when we came back here to Parody after the rumbling, after Aaron's death, I still had my doubts. Hmm? I guess you're right. I voice my concern compared to keeping my opinions and strategy to myself. Like I said, if I hadn't met you after the rumbling, I probably wouldn't have this newfound confidence. Yes, I've always been confident in a way, but I used to be so arrogant. I never had a problem telling someone off, but I was nothing more than a bully. Being beaten down your entire life will do that to you. But you're so patient with me. Even when I lose my temper now, you know it isn't about you. You're able to just look at me and calm me down. Yeah. I guess I'm just scared. And I can finally admit that to myself. Yeah, I know you'll be there for me as I figure things out. So, thanks. I love you too. I'm scared, but I'm looking forward to our future together. Even if the world keeps going to shit, I know I at least have you.